Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Hire My VA Team and Business Building Podcast brought to you by Ugozi.com. And in this podcast and at Hire My VA, we help you to reclaim your freedom through hiring and thriving with virtual assistants without breaking the bank. And the most famous bank in your mind and in mine is my own bank and your bank. Right. Something like that. (laughs) Close enough. Yeah. Hey, I'm Dave Braun. And as usual, I'm here with my good buddy, friend, business partner, Larry Broughton. Larry, and you know, you, I've, I've seen you coach so many folks. We talk about, um, you know, ways to help our clients. Yeah. And it's like, you just keep coming up with new things all the time. You really do a great job of identifying what's um, holding folks back. David, you do too. Awesome. It's good to see you, handsome Dave. Love yeah. you. I'm glad you're in my life. And um, yeah, this is good. I'm glad we're doing this. Yeah, this would be an interesting uh, episode. This is a good question. What are we talking about today? Okay, here we go. How the question is episode 145. um, How can my business survive the current inflation environment? And what most people feel is an upcoming recession if we're not even in one. We're in one. (laughs) So how do we survive it, Larry? Well, let me start with this. I don't want to start with how to survive. I just want to give acknowledgement that recessionary times suck. Yeah. Man, I mean, it's scary because you don't know how long it's going to last, right? Yeah. Um, you know, particularly depending on where you are in the country and what industry you're in, some recessions last longer than others, right? And it can be yeah. frustrating to say, well, gosh, You know, I'm in an industry that's getting killed in this particular recession. It didn't get killed in past recessions. And you get resentful of seeing other people out and their businesses are thriving. You know, it's tough emotionally to go through, right? Mm -hmm. And then particularly in inflationary times, it it not only is busting the chops of your business, but your own personal finances get crushed, right? So I just want to acknowledge that recession is hard. It's hard. And no one, there are some people, Dave, who get in and out of business. Their timing is just perfect. You know, they, they get into business during a, you know, a lot of people say that recessions are the best time to start and launch a business. Okay. Some of the biggest brands that we know and use today were started during recessions. Right. And some people just time it right. They get in during the recession and it grows and they get out before the next economic downturn. You know, but if you've been around for any number of years, um, more than just a few years, you've been hit by some cycle of recessionary, recession and inflationary times. Yeah. So um, I just wanted to start with with that. Yeah. You know, just acknowledge it, that it's hard. And I hope this is the time that you're rallying your troops and, um, and um, talking to mentors and those types of people. So... Some people tell you that if you're in business, now's the time to double down on your business, right? And um, say, I'm in this to win it. And uh, particularly during the one that we're in right now, during this, we're recording this in mid 2022. And, um, you know, we're on the coming out of what people are calling this pandemic era is that they had to pivot because all of business was changed. So you got to pivot yeah. your business, right? And so what do you do? That might be some, kind of some some similar things. And so the first thing I would say is you need to make sure that your financial house is in order. Yeah. You know, so what the hell does that mean? Well, make sure that you know how to measure your numbers. I mean, measure your uh, performance. And you got some really important key performance indicators that you're looking at and um, control your cash. Mm-hmm. Cash is absolutely king during the, these times because right, the cost of debt goes up during these times um, and um, cost of products and services goes up, you know, so make sure that you've got enough cash. Now, in the old days, uh, two years ago, the survey I, I saw said that the average business has 20, I think it was 27 days of free cash on hand. Mm-hmm. I, I used to think that we were smart cookies by having, you know, you yeah. know between 90 days or 60 days. But I can tell you, like the new businesses that we're launching, Dave, we're looking at having a full year, yeah. at a minimum, a full year of, of cash flow on hand. Yeah. Um, or else we don't do the deal. 
Yeah, and the hard thing about that is in inflationary times, the uh, value of that cash that you have on hand goes down, yeah. but um, you still have to have a certain amount of cash. You've got to, even if it goes down, because there's you may um, you maybe leaving opportunities on the table. And, yeah, what? Well, yeah, and, and you may need that cash, like you said, to survive it. Yeah. 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 Well, if you look at some of these big businesses, they have so much free cash on hand, they wait for these economic downturns because that's when they go on their buying sprees. Yeah. 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 It's so funny mentally, you know, when we when we talk about the stock market being down, you know, right now it's down 30% or something like that from its peak. Yeah. Then you factor in the um, you know, the money that was is in there is buying 10% about less than what it did. So yeah. your purchasing power may be down 40%. Well, most people would be like, oh, now is the time to sell. But smart folks will usually look at this as a time to buy. Yeah. Because it's yeah. on sale. We don't go into a store and buy the highest price stuff all the time and be so happy about it. We're excited when we get uh, stuff that's on sale. Yeah. You know, uh, <clears throat> Dave, it reminds me, we did a... a a podcast on this tool that I think we did, didn't we? On forty-eight powerful ways to improve your cash flow. Do we do a podcast on that? I don't think so. Well, we've got a tool. We talked definitely. about it. We, we've got a tool on this that we can, you know, suggest hmm. that people get. Um, and it's um, I've got it here somewhere. In fact, I think it's it is right here. And it's um, forty-eight powerful ways to immediately improve your personal and business cash flow. And um, and we can offer this uh, to you. Um, and so I would say really start looking at ways to in, improve your, your your business cash flow. And at the same time, I want to make sure that you are also focusing on reinforcing your branding to the world. Make sure mm -hmm. that people know who you are. Okay. Um, and so, um, and we I know that we've talked about that as well. And we have this webinar is one of our most popular webinars that we've done. It's called setting out the honeypot. Mm -hmm. And there is a link and we can put this in the uh, Daphne or whoever is going to be doing this. We can put this in the, uh, the show notes and put it on the, the screen here too, is if you go to yougozi.com slash cash RV, um, then um, you can get these, both of these for, for free. You know? And there's one other thing that you get, which is our third point, I think. Which is what? the uh, revealed audio. Oh, yeah. So what is the revealed audio? Well, I think what we talk about is, you know, also during these inflationary and recessionary times is this is the time as you know, you were talking about leaning in, doubling down. Um, make sure that you show up like the leader that your team and clients need. This is a scary time I do see in some businesses, the leaders all of a sudden they start retreating, they don't come out of their office. You know, and so I forgot about that. Yeah, so we've got this revealed CD, um, and that is right here. Um, well, it used to be a CD, now it's just an audio downloadable file. So if you go to that same link, then yes, you're right, you'll get the 48 cash uh, powerful ways to improve your cash flow. You get the um, sitting out the honeypot webinar, and you get this uh, revealed CD. And I will tell you this I'm not exaggerating, we've received several messages text messages emails from people who say that that's a very powerful audio it's like about an hour but people some people have said it has saved their life this is not me saying this these are messages that we've got okay and uh it's a few years old but it's still very powerful stuff i think it's and, timeless and it's, it is yeah some of these stuff are, are timeless things and so i'm not ashamed to say that th during these difficult times i've actually done therapy and do therapy regularly. I'm a big believer in different forms of therapy, whether it's talk therapy or EMDR therapy or whatever it is. Um, and um, as a leader, you don't oftentimes, as a business owner, you oftentimes don't have this cadre of people you can go to and share your biggest, deepest, darkest secrets. Right. Dave and I do because we are intentional. We've got a couple of groups that we belong to where things are held in strict confidence um, and we can do that, but most people don't. And so oftentimes a therapist is a good place to go for, yeah. for that. You know, are you really going to go to your team members and say, hey, my biggest fear is, you know, that I can't right. pay your paycheck next week. <laughs> you know? Yeah. You know? yeah. But, but we do need as human beings, we do need 
somebody in our lives to confess those things too. We yeah, do need sure. somebody to get those things off of our chests, to mm -hmm. get them out of our mouth, because once they come out of us, then they start losing their power. And if we, and if we talk about it with somebody who is, can speak some wisdom into us, then we can potentially do something about those. So these things will lose their power and um, we can use them to maybe um, fuel ahead. And so fuel ourselves ahead. And a therapist um, is a person that could help us do that. Yeah, these these negative dark thoughts are oftentimes like cockroaches, right? Mm, and yeah. if you ever walked into a dirty restaurant in the dark and then turned on the lights, what happens when those lights go on? Yeah, all those cockroaches scatter. scurry, <laughs> they scatter, right? Well, it's kind of it's kind of like that, shining a bright light into the corners of your life sometimes. So, yeah, you know, are, and. So I think a lot of this, um, we're going to talk about this further as a few more points, but a lot of this ends up being some of the basic stuff that we need to do as business owners um, mm -hmm. and leaders, regardless of if there's a recession. What's that? Doing all these things. We, we should mm -hmm. be watching our cash flow. We oh, of course. We should be um, thinking about therapy. We should be building our brand, right? We should be improving our leadership um, continually, not just in uh, recessionary times, but every time. All the time. Yeah. Well, you know, what else we should also be doing is something with, no matter what time time it is, is what value are we providing to our current clients? Right. Right. Again, if you're going to retreat to your office, you're not providing value to your team member or to your client. So you've got to really make sure that you're leaning into these people, telling them how appreciative you are that they're on your team, that they are your clients, because I can tell you this. There are a lot of savvy business owners that during recessionary times, they're going out and trying to get more clients and those new clients could be yours. Yeah. So if you're not building the relationship, someone else is going to be. Yeah. So maintain, don't lose your clients to someone else, but what else can you offer them to reward them for sticking around? I think that would be an important thing to consider as well, as well as, you know, are there new products or services that, that they've been asking for? That you can now provide. It's one of the things I love about you, Dave. You're such a learner. And I, I see the services that you're now providing your clients that you didn't offer a couple of years ago or a few years yeah. ago. You listen, hey, will this be a value to you? And then you onboard people, experts into your business that allow you to provide services to these clients. Yeah, absolutely right. You know, I can't remember, uh, Larry, the exact podcasts I listened to. But, oh man, I wish I could remember that person's name, but they, they talked about a way to do this. Mm -hmm. And one of the ways that you guys can do this, and as I've thought about it is, think about where you are, your business is in, in your client's um, chain of them delivering a product or a service, right? Think about where you are, think about where you are, and then think about um, the product or services immediately before they come to you and immediately after they go to you yeah and then see That's what good. can you start thinking about absorbing so for one of the things like in a web development business one of the things that clients are going to always want is going to be traffic to their site mm -hmm. so you can develop the website and then start thinking about seo or advertisement social media all that kind of stuff mm -hmm. right because that's the next thing in the chain so think about folks you know what's your business what comes before you and what comes after you. So smart. So smart. And you've been doing that. You've been yeah. Doing that. Yeah. You know, I, I think though, Dave, um, and this is another one of those web uh, podcasts that we could go on for a long time about, but I think one way to just kind of wrap this thing up is to remind people of what you and I have got. Um, we've got an accountability group. We got some people that we can go talk to that we can really share our biggest, deepest, darkest secrets and fears about. We can ask for advice from. Um, but also, um, we're both involved in masterminds and coaching. You yeah. have coaches, right? You've got to have that in, in your life, uh, particularly during these difficult economic times of a recession or inflationary times. Because what you're going to learn from these mastermind groups, your coaches, is information that you didn't have access to otherwise. That's Best right. practices ideas what's worked what hasn't worked someone with a fresh set of eyes that's right say hey have you considered this or hey i know someone who can help you with that mm -hmm. right yeah i think it's so important to to actively and intentionally seek support 
ideas uh, from people outside of your own, you know, little head right here. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and Larry, I always try to think of okay, analogies. This is what we're talking about is like this to help explain it in my own head and to other folks. And, you know, I, and I love, I love sports. And one of the things that, that I yeah. thought about was when there are, um, when there's a, a team that's having some issues, a lot of times what they'll do in the middle of a season, they'll be like, the coaches will be like, okay, they'll do two things. One is we got to simplify our offense or slim, simplify our defense. We got to simplify. So yes. that's one thing. The other thing is we need to go back and practice our blocking and tackling for yes. it. We need to go practice our free throws. You know, we need to take some extra batting practice or whatever that is. Right. So it's that little yeah. extra um, thought to make things simpler and then yeah. going back to some of the basics. And that's why, Larry, this episode was about um, basics, I think, that we we came up with. Right. Yes. These are yes. real basic stuff. Yeah. Yeah. But we need reminder of the basics. Yeah. If we don't have the basics down, we can't build on the, the advanced techniques. That's the advanced right. Plays. Right. we got to have this. Stuff. And we always need the TFTRs. Right. Thanks absolutely on the stuff you know and if you don't for example if you don't have your financial house in order if you don't have a way to evaluate some of these new products and services that you may be considering mm. you won't know how much to charge how do i know if it's profitable how much yeah. do i spend in maybe tools to help support that or training yeah. whatever That's right. right so you need to have some of that um you know that those fundamentals yeah yeah good good I'm glad we took just a few minutes just to do some of the thanks for the reminders things on, on this. And um, yeah. just to remind people, Hey, we get it. We know that these recessionary and inflationary times are difficult and scary, but mm. reach out to folks. If you've got questions, concerns, you just want to, you know, um, a little bit of help on something, put a comment in the comment yeah. box, reach out to us. There's a bunch of ways to reach out to us through social media, through our websites, um, jump on some of these Q and a calls. Other way do join the community. Um, we're glad to help. You know, we're all about being aggregators, taking ideas from everybody, everybody else and sharing them with our tribe. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, we're going to do a little bit different ending today because we just talked about simplifying the basic blocking and tackling folks. One thing that we want you to do right now, just one thing, what we talked about earlier is go to ugozi.com slash cash rv c-a-s-h-r-v there you go you should see it on the screen here where to go you'll see it in the show notes uh, but go there and get that free download you'll get three things those are basic blocking and tackling Agreed. items that you need to have in your business go there and do that now they're free yeah it's free um you'll get some email follow-ups to help you go through that so just go there and do that. You will not regret it for sure. Yep. That's it. Okay. Good. Go do something significant today, my friends. All right. God bless you. God keep you. God hold you. Till the next time, we'll see you later. Okay. Bye, Bye. folks. <laughs>